One Georgia official is coming under fire for a Facebook post he made, then minutes later took down. Well, Councilman John Douglas of Newton, Georgia, after seeing a disturbing and controversial image of a woman desecrating a flag on Facebook, he made this comment. Only one problem, he didn't comment on the flag or on America. He commented on her, saying, she is just a cheap streetwalker Negro who lays down for white men. You know, Nick, um, even though he, t he did take it down a few minutes later, we had someone, presumably a constituent of his, actually do a screenshot of this. Local News 11 got a hold of it. They went after him. We have a clip of their confrontation, this one reporter. Take a look at this. These are racially inflammatory and derogatory comments that you made on Facebook. No, they're not. You don't find those comments inflammatory or racist? I find that inflammatory. Right, but what you wrote, do you so think that's a... You told her? But I'm asking... And we apologize for that uh, video being a little choppy, but you get the gist of it, Nick. He's clearly not sorry. She had to track him down. Um, and at first he was like, where'd you get that? That wasn't on my wall. Not, not realizing that somebody could actually take a picture uh, of what he wrote. Dude, yeah. Right. Um, he ended up apologizing, but not to the woman that he offended. He apologized to the other council members. Um, he went on to say, you know, if she says she's sorry, um, then he would say that he was he was sorry too. You know, I want to point out that what she did, I mean, it, it was rather vile, uh, defecating on an American flag with her middle finger up. Um, you know, and she did receive a lot of comments, how despicable, but remarking, remarking on her action only, not who she was as a human being. And that was so dehumanizing, what he had to say about her. Oh, without a doubt. Where does this guy think that, you know, if you spell the word Negro differently, it's not racist? What the hell? You put knee and grow, Maybe and now you're, you're off to. the hook. Maybe that's in his brain how he spells Negro. I Maybe mean, he knows? never learned how to spell, but then now we're talking, uh, we have councilmen in our government who can't spell words. But, yeah, that's, that's that. And then he goes on to call her a prostitute, and not just any prostitute, one that just lies down like a piece of meat. That in itself, extremely degrading. As for her, look, you do something like that, and, you know, the way that social media works nowadays, I think it's more than likely if you do something like that, everyone's going to be sharing it. It's going to be all over the place. And now there's pictures of you taking a crap on a flag. You look like an idiot, too. I don't think any of them uh, necessarily made the right choice, but the fact that this man represents an entire community, he is a councilman, it's not some huge high-ranking official job, right? But nonetheless, he represents people, and he represents a town or, or a state or whatever it is, but that's just ridiculous that we have these kinds of people in those kinds of positions it, that are blatantly racist and can't spell. I mean, it gives you um, some insight into his dark, twisted mind of how he feels about people. And again, not condoning what she did, she actually posted um, something on Facebook under an alias saying, with only $6, you too can help young Africans clean their ass with the rag of oppression. And, oh gosh. you know, was it an American flag or Confederate flag? It was flag? an American Just a flag. Just normal, okay, wow. Um, and we do have free speech in this country. Whether yeah. we like it or not, um, that is an element of free speech. And um, she did offend a lot of people, but she the flip right side of so. this, he took, he took the spotlight off of the story and put it on his own dark, racist brain. I mean, it's, what was he, th anyway. Obviously he wasn't thinking, if you're gonna ask me what he's thinking. He, he wasn't thinking about it too much. And also didn't know that people can take screenshots. They exist. So. <laughs> Word to the wise: people can actually collect what you say online. Get with the times in more way than more ways than one, technologically and the way you think about other races. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's right. Anyway, we'd love to know what you at home think about Representative John Douglas, his statements: a cheap street walking Negro laying down for white men. Log on, post those comments below about the story. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and, of course, subscribe to the Lip TV Two for more.